So containerize your networking skills and navigate the world of network engineering with ease. CCI is one of the most prestigious certifications in the world, and I want to help guide engineers on how to attain it. I've made a video about it, sharing my experience. Go ahead and click on the link right here. And Welcome back guys, this is your boy Ali. For the people who are new to the channel, my name is Ali and I'm a Deloitte Certified Architect who is also a CCIE in the field of networks. As a CCIE, I usually get involved in working on some of the most complex projects for one of the largest companies in the world, such as Google, AWS, Microsoft. Guess who saved AWS from an outage on December 7th when their network devices went down? That's right. It was a team of CCIE engineers who were sent to fix their network. I guess you get the point. Times like these are when I wear my cape and go saving a company's revenue stream when their network is in a down situation. Every second the network is down, they are losing millions of dollars and losing customers. Outside of bringing them back to life, I help shape the future of a company's technology through a transformation and bringing it back to light by introducing future state architecture involving solutions such as SD-WAN, SASE, WebEx Cloud, intent-based networking. And okay, let's talk about network engineering as a career. So when it comes to choosing a career, network engineering is a reliable and high in demand career. It's like having a steady job as an Oompa Loompa in the chocolate factory. But the role of Oompa Loompa are not just to make chocolate, but to make sure it tastes good as well. Same for the network engineers. They need to ensure business continuity and disaster recovery keeps the company swimming through choppy waters when the network traffic is peak in busy seasons. Cloud computing is a big part of network engineering. If you don't stand up the infrastructure correctly, you cannot migrate anything to the landing zones. Okay, let's talk about the importance of understanding fundamentals and trends. When it comes to network engineering, understanding the fundamental is like learning to crawl before you walk. It helps you gain balance. One of the most important fundamentals in network engineering is understanding the core concepts such as TCP IP, OSI model, and routing protocols. It's like learning the alphabet before you can read a book. Without it, you'll be lost in translation. So let's touch up on cloud networking for a little bit. Cloud servers are becoming the norm and are replacing traditional on-prem data centers. It's like a five lane highway with more destinations and wider lanes. This shift has implications for both data centers and network infrastructure. Security is a major concern in the cloud. That is why security protocols such as SSL, TLS, VPN, and firewalls are essential for protecting data, and ensuring its compliance in cloud environments. Another important aspect of cloud networking is network automation and orchestration. Network automation and orchestration helps to reduce human error, increase efficiency, and provide better visibility into network performance. All right, let's touch up on data center networking. In short, data center networking is all about software-defined networking and network function virtualization. It's about speed, bandwidth, network monitoring, and analytics. The future of data center networking is all about software-defined, with 5G and edge computing driving the need for low latency and high bandwidth networks. Let's talk about Linux. You cannot talk about network engineering without talking about Linux. Linux, Docker, and K8s K8s, AKA Kubernetes. Linux, Docker, and Kubernetes are like having a sturdy foundation, smaller rooms, and a map of the building. Understanding Linux is essential. Learning Docker and Kubernetes is beneficial. And understanding container networking and service meshes is important for network engineers. So containerize your networking skills and navigate the world of network engineering with ease. Also, if you want to learn Docker in 12 minutes, you can watch my video right here on top learn Docker in 12 minutes. I've made a video about this. It's for people who are looking to learn Docker very quickly within a short amount of time. It'll give you all you need to know within the 12 minutes. The future of network engineering is all about new technologies and trends, such as network slicing, network as a service, 5G, intent-based networking, and AI ML. Network engineers need to stay up to date on these developments to stay relevant in their careers. The network will only grow further with the adoption of IoT, where every device within home is connected to each other, and those devices connected to everything in the cloud, building a massive spider web full of mesh networks, just as your brain has synapses to send signals and receive information through neurotransmission. The computers have networks where they send data and receive data. The network never stops growing. 
network engineering is a challenging and rewarding field that's constantly evolving. So by understanding the fundamentals, staying up to date on new technologies and trends and developing combination of technical and soft skills, network engineers can stay ahead of the game and navigate ever-changing landscape of the world of networking. If you haven't subscribed yet, make sure you do. If you like the video, learn anything from it, make sure you subscribe and like the video right now and drop in the comments. Let me know what kind of videos you wanna see, but I'm gonna start making a lot of videos about this type of stuff. So thank you for subscribing, staying tuned, and see you guys in the next drop.